So if you're like me, and quite frankly, most guys on the planet, it can be tricky sometimes trying to match up different colors in your daily wardrobe, especially during the summertime when it's, of course, warm outside and you're only wearing a few pieces like a shirt and either maybe a pair of pants or shorts. And that's exactly why I wanted to make this video today, to give you a few tried and true, easy to pull off, works on every skin tone, color combinations that you can always have in your back pocket to always look great. Really quick though, if you're new here, I'm John. And the whole reason that I started this YouTube channel was to help older guys in this overlooked and ignored demographic of middle-aged guys to look better and to feel better. And I'm glad that you're here. All right, so let's not waste any time and we'll hop right in with the first color combination that always looks great in the summer and it's blue and tan. Let me jump over to the color wheel really quick and show you guys something. So if you're not familiar with this color wheel, I'll link to it down below. It's super simple to use and it's free for everyone. Now I'm gonna start by grabbing a blue color right about here. And then as you can see, the opposite complementary color to blue is brown. So basically anything in the blue and brown family will go together. And of course you can easily mix up the shades of each color to make it more or less contrasty and even mix up the colors between your top half and your lower half. So think about light blue chinos with a brown shirt, maybe tan shorts with a blue shirt, or even light brown or tan denim if you like wearing jeans. And as you can see, blue and tan is a solid combination and you really can't get this one wrong. And because we're talking about color combinations, just a quick note about your sock color. Now the basic rule of thumb to follow is to match your sock color to the color of your pants. And it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. It just needs to be within the same color family. So if you're wearing shorts though, I would suggest wearing a no-show sock because it just looks a lot cleaner in my opinion. But if you're wearing full length socks with pants, I suggest wearing these socks from Straight Up Socks, today's sponsor. So these socks have pretty much taken over my whole sock drawer as my primary pair of go-to socks if I'm wearing pants. And I would say that the most common colors to have for the summer would be a blue, a brown, and then a couple different shades of gray. So I've talked about these socks before in other videos because personally, I really hate the look of sagging socks, but what I hate even more is that feeling of sagging socks. Now, Straight Up Socks uses this proprietary silicone strips to keep your socks looking good and staying in place all day long so you don't have to constantly reach down and tug at your socks. The tiny profile of the silicone strips holds the sock in place instead of relying on extra tightness that gets really uncomfortable. So these are made from moisture wicking Pima cotton because it resists pilling, feels amazing, and always looks nice and smooth. They also have a reciprocated heel for a really incredible fit, smooth toe seams that reduce abrasion, and a reinforced heel and toe for much longer wear. They offer free shipping within the US, so hit that link down below and go grab some of these socks for yourself right now because seriously, these are all I wear anymore. All right, the next combination is green and brown. Now, more specifically though, light green and light brown. Once again though, you can easily mix these up and of course choose darker shades, but for the summertime, I would suggest going with lighter shades of colors. Now let's jump back over to that color wheel for just a second and I'll show you how you can use that drop down menu to find other colors that all go together. And as you can see, all these colors, brown and green specifically, definitely go together. Now the next color combination for summertime is gray and blue. And this might be one of my favorite combinations because it's versatile and I think a lot of guys have these colors in their wardrobes already. Personally though, I like light gray chinos with the blue shirt. But of course, again, you can completely reverse that if you want to, or even play around with some contrast. For example, the same light gray chinos with the super dark blue shirt. Now for this next combination, we're staying with the gray, but then switching out the blue for white. Now obviously, white goes with pretty much everything. But for some reason, I really like wearing gray and white together. I mean, it goes with every skin tone, it looks clean, it looks sophisticated, and it's just one of those combinations that you just don't even have to think about. Just grab and go. Okay, now this next combination for summer isn't 
technically a combination, but it's monochrome. So basically, this is wearing all the same color, but just different variations and shades of that same color. It's a solid move that's easy to pull off, and these types of monochrome combinations can work year round. Now, there's a story behind this next one. So I'm in La Jolla a few weeks ago with a buddy of mine, and we're having kind of a late lunch over at Javier's. We're sitting at the bar, and the small group of people walk in. Everyone was dressed really nice, and the women were absolutely stunning. But this one guy, probably about my age, walks up to the host to stand to probably check on their table, and you could instantly tell this guy knew exactly what he was doing and that he was in charge, but he wasn't being cocky. And the thing is, he wasn't even a big guy, right? He's probably about my size, but what he was wearing and how he carried himself made even me take notice. Now, I couldn't see his shoes, but he had on these sort of medium to dark washed blue jeans. He had on a white dress shirt that was tucked in and a salmon color sport jacket. Now, if you think about it, that's a pretty bold choice to go with a salmon pinkish color jacket, but that combination looked terrific and absolutely worked. So I have a salmon color sweater blazer, so you better believe I copied that guy the first chance I got. So let's think about it this way though for the next combination, blue and pink, or even white and pink. Now, I know a lot of you guys might push back on the color pink and, and I get it, that's fine. But what about something in burgundy? It's still the red family. You can even incorporate some burgundy and maybe some pink patterns in your shirt and that would still work just fine. All right, this next one I wanna be a little more specific with and it's white shorts or white pants with anything. Seriously, I'm gonna leave this one up to you because anything works, right? And I think what I'm trying to do with this one is to get you to think outside the box a little bit and consider wearing white or off-white pants or shorts this summer. Because again, pretty much anything you do here is gonna work just fine. And really quick, if you haven't seen this video where I talk all about summer linen, it's definitely worth a few minutes of your time to go check out. And as always, my friends, thank you very much for watching. Live well, and I'll see you in the next one.